it appears that President Nanado Dankwa Ekufado is signing the book of condolence that has been opened at the British High Commission in Accra. And we are seeing now live scenes from the British High Commission. Remember that Queen Elizabeth II passed away on Thursday after 70 years on the British throne and she had just marked her platinum jubilee when she passed away on Thursday. Um, she joins her husband, Prince Philip of the Duke of Edinburgh, who also passed away in April 2021. And now the United Kingdom is in a state of national mourning. We're told that the Queen's funeral will be held on September 19, which is um, next week, Monday. And the King, Charles III, has approved for that day to be declared a back holiday. Flags are still flying at half-mast in Ghana in honor of the former British monarch, Queen Elizabeth II, President Ekufado there, signing the book of condolence. I'm sure he's sharing um, a few thoughts on his interactions, perhaps, with Her Majesty over the, the period that she was um, on the throne or perhaps over the time that he knew or engaged with her in, in a, a more personal official capacity. And um, so... I've seen from the British High Commission. President Ekufado live at the British High Commission signing the book of condolence for Her Majesty Queen Elizabeth II, who, um, as we speak, we expect to be uh, her, her coffin to be brought to London at some point today or tomorrow. Um, public viewing will start on Wednesday. We understand that she will um, lie in state for four days before the official state funeral on Monday. So we are still on the live feed from the British High Commission here in Accra where His Excellency, the President of the Republic of Ghana, is signing a book of condolence in memory of the departed Queen Elizabeth II. The Queen's funeral arrived in Edinburgh last night ahead of her state funeral and members of the public will have the chance to pay their respects and view her coffin first at Edinburgh St. Giles Church and then at Westminster Hall, where the Queen will lie in state for four days. We understand Prince Charles III will embark on a tour of all four nations that make up the UK. And um, it will begin in London, Westminster Hall, Palace of Westminster, where both the House of Commons and the House of Lords will meet to express their condolences and King Charles will make an address. He'll be accompanied by Camilla Queen Consort, and he'll fly to Edinburgh, where at about um, 14.25, that's 2.25 p.m. British summer time, he will walk behind the Queen's coffin 
from Edinburgh's Palace of Holyrood House to St. Giles Cathedral. Members of the public will be able to watch the procession as it moves along the Royal Mile. The President Nanedu Dankwai Kufado still writing um, his comments in that book of condolence and I'm sure he's sharing thoughts, fond memories perhaps of his engagement with the late monarch. Live scenes from the British High Commission. We've just witnessed scenes, right? The president is yeah. um, sitting down and a few comments are being shared. Let's yeah. join the feed and listen to what, what's going on. Those memories. She's been on the throne for longer than Ghana has existed. Um, so it's, a, it's truly a momentous time and we appreciate you being an important part of this historic moment. So warm thanks to you. I think you expressed very well the feelings that we have towards her. I was in Parliament when she came to address us the second time that she came to Ghana in 1999. I think it was then a member of the opposition. I remember her presence and her friendliness, especially. That's what I remember. So it's, it's sad. We all have to go. But it's sad that she's gone. I'm going to take the opportunity also to wish the king uh, the best of luck over his, over on his tenure. He's been here with us a few occasions and is a good friend, and I'm, I'm confident that he'll do a very good job in her succession. So we wish the best for our ages. I intend to be to go to London for the funeral. I don't know what whether you have anything in particular to tell me about that. The invitations have been sent, so they will be with your High Commission in London. They were sent over the weekend, um, and we'll make sure the arrangements work smoothly between your team there and our team here. Yeah. Thank you, Excellency. All right. So, you just come back. I have, yeah. <laughs> I have In fact, Excellency, I missed my flight. I was saying to you the oh. I missed my flight. So I flew by Amsterdam. I missed my flight into Amsterdam. So I was, I was so relieved that they got me on the way. <laughs> and so, um, what you can see currently. is the president 
having come to the end of signing the book of condolence and engaged in a tete-a-tete uh, -tete with the High Commissioner to Ghana. Uh, with them is Beth Cadman, who uh, is Charge d'Affaires here at the British High Commission, as well as uh, Honourable Madame Shea uh, who accompanied the President to sign the book of condolence. Uh,